Hello, in this Dart programming video, I am going to show you constructors. So this is in relation to classes and objects. Make sure you have a simple class already created. If you want some help, feel free to check out the basic example video. Okay, so a constructor is simply a method that has no return type because it can't return data that is run when you first create an object of that class. So we've created two objects here, v1 and v2. Every single time we create it, the constructor is called. And what is called right here? If you don't specify a constructor, the compiler will automatically provide you with a default one, which doesn't really do much, but we're just gonna create one ourselves. To create a constructor, you put the name of the class, wherever that is, so vehicle in this place, open close brackets, curly braces, and that's it. So it's the same format as any other function, method, you know, sub program, whatever you wanna call it, without the return type. And in here, we can do a print. We can print hi, for example. And watch what happens if I comment out all of these lines. So we're only creating two objects, and it gets printed out twice. That's because when we create v1, it gets printed out, or you know this constructor is called. And when we do v2, this construct its constructor is called. The benefit of using a constructor is because it is called as soon as you create an object. It's great for setting you know, properties or maybe you're getting some information from a database. And as a result, what you get could be different. So having that is cool. Another thing that you can do is essentially pass in a parameter to your constructor as you normally would. So if I did int, for example, this is the same way that you would with any other function. So if I say int speed, and we are expecting a speed value as it is red here for 100, and I put 90, and we could set max speed then. So that means we have to set the max speed, which makes this line kind of redundant. But for, the, for this you know, example, we'll leave it in there. And if we were to uncomment those lines out, see what we get. We get 100, because that's what it's set it to. Uh, let me change that to like 70, just so it's a little easier to see what's happening. Okay, so we get 100. And uh, no, actually that one was fine. It was this one I wanted to change. So if we were to you know change it to 89, it was running fine, but it's just you know, a little awkward to see what was happening. So initial speed is set to 100, which is what we pass in. Then it gets overwritten to 89, so we can still overwrite values that have an initial value set up in the constructor. And then we have the max speed as well for V2, which is set to 90 when we call this constructor. And you can pass in as many variables, you know, as many parameters as you want. It's the same as any other function. That's really it. I'm gonna cover a bit more on functions so you can, you know, get a better idea. But for the most part, that's all you need to know. If you have any questions though, feel free to pop me a message. And as usual, I look forward to seeing you in the next video.